Hello, boys and girls. It's time again for Pleasant Pathways from Poppy. We have a story for you today. Hope it's a good story. Hope you learned something from it. The title of our story today is Old Turtle. Old Turtle. And this is a book by Douglas Wood. I have a little funny to tell you right now. There was a time long ago, you ever heard of the uh, polish that's used to, uh, to make your car shine? It's called turtle wax, turtle wax. Once upon a time, kids used to call me turtle wax because my head was so shiny. So uh, we'll start today's story about the old turtle with an old story about the old man. How about that? Okay, Old Turtle by Douglas Wood. Here we go. Some of these pictures might be difficult for you to see because they uh, have, uh, they're done in watercolor. So I'll do the best I can to show them to you, but they're very nice paintings, watercolor paintings. But they might not be as clear as some of the pictures you've seen before. Once long, long ago, yet somehow not so very long, when all the animals and rocks, see animals here and rocks over here, winds and waters and trees and birds and fish all those animals and all the beings of the world could speak and understand one another can you imagine what would be it would be like to speak to the animals that you see every day Sometimes you probably want to talk to your dog to see what he's got on his mind. But remember that. And the beings of the world could speak and understand one another. This is, of course, not a true story, but one that will have a meaning for you later, as you'll see. No pictures on this page. There began an argument. It began softly at first, quiet as the first breeze that whispered, He is a wind who is never still quiet as a stone that answered, he is a great rock that never moves. Gentle as the mountain that rumbled, God is a snowy peak high above the clouds. Listen to the way God is described. I'm going to read that to you again. He's described as quiet as the first breeze that whispered, quiet as a stone that answered, a great rock that never moves, gentle as the mountain that rumbled, like a snowy peak, high above the clouds. What a great description of our God, isn't that? More watercolors there. And the fish in the ocean that answered, God is a swimmer in the dark blue depths of the sea. That's a good way to describe God too. He's a swimmer in the depths of the sea. deer. Looks like some of the deer that run across my pathway in the car early in the morning in the, in the country as we make our way to work. No, said the star, God is a twinkling and a shining far, far away. No, said the ant, God is a sound and a smell and a feeling who is very, very close. God, said the antelope, is a runner, swift and free who loves to leap and race with the wind. I'm sorry, that was not a deer, it was an antelope. My mistake, they're like cousins, pretty much the same kind of animal, but an antelope is a little bit different. So you see they're having an argument about just who God is. Isn't that beautiful? She is a great tree, murmured the willow, a part of the world always growing and always giving. You are wrong, argued the island. God is separate and apart. God is like the shining sun, far above all things, said the blue sky. No, he is a river who flows through the very heart of things, thundered the waterfall. And the waterfall speaks very loudly sometimes, doesn't it? 
No pictures on this page to show you. She is a hunter, roared the lion. God is gentle, chirped the robin. He is powerful, grabbed the ba growled the bear. And the argument grew louder and louder and louder until... Stop! A new voice spoke. It rumbled loudly, like thunder. And it whispered softly, like butterfly sneezes. The voice seemed to come from... Why... It seemed to come from, old turtle. Now, old turtle hardly ever said anything and certainly never argued about things like God. But now old turtle began to speak. You can imagine he spoke in a very low voice. See, turtle seated above all the animals, and he's got their attention, doesn't he? Can you see that? Did you look very closely? The turtle up on the rock, and all the animals listening very carefully, because the turtle never says much, but when he does, people listen. God is indeed deep, she said to the fish in the sea, and much higher than high, she told the mountains. He is swift and free as the wind, and still and solid as a great rock. She said to the breezes and the stones. God is the life of the world, Turtle said to the willow, always close by, yet beyond the farthest twinkling light. She told the ant and the star, God is powerful above all things and within all things. God is all that we dream of and all that we seek, said old Turtle. All that we come from, all that we can find, God is. What great words from Old Turtle this morning. No pictures for this one. Old Turtle had never said so much before. All the beings of the world were surprised and became very quiet. But Old Turtle had one more thing to say. There will soon be a new family of beings in the world, Turtle said, and they will be strange and wonderful. They will be reminders of all that God is. You know who that was going to be, don't you? You've been listening to the story. We've been seeing nothing but animals. Now who's coming? They will come in many colors and shapes with different faces and different ways of speaking. Their thoughts will soar to the stars, but their feet will walk the earth. They will possess many powers. They will be strong, yet tender. A message of love from God to the earth and a prayer from the earth back to God. And the people... My, look at them. Throngs and throngs of people coming from everywhere, just as the turtle said. Kind of a sad picture there, doesn't it? Let's see what it says. But the people forgot. They forgot that they were a message of love and a prayer from the earth. And they began to argue about who knew God and who did not, and where God was, and was not, and whether God was or was not. And often the people misused their powers, and they hurt one another, or even killed one another, and they hurt the earth, until finally even the forests began to die. Isn't that sad to see the forests not so green and lovely, and to see the dead fish, and dead animals there? This might have been because of the things that man did not to take care of God's creation. No pictures here. And the rivers and the oceans and the plants and the animals and the earth itself. Because the people could not remember who they were or where God was. One Until one day there came a voice. Like the growling of thunder. But as soft as butterfly breezes. Please stop. Where was that voice coming from? The beautiful mountaintop picture here. The voice seemed to come from the mountain who rumbled. Sometimes I see God swimming in the dark blue depths of the sea. 
and from the ocean whose side he is often among the snow-capped peaks reflecting the sun. From the stone who said, I sometimes feel her breath as she blows by. And from the breeze who whispered, I feel his still presence as I dance among the rocks. And the star said, God is very close. And the island said, his love touches everything. And after a long, lonesome, and scary time, the people finally listened and began to hear and to see God in one another. Isn't that a great picture? People all together in one accord following the message of God and the message of nature that we've already seen. Beautiful watercolor, and in the beauty of all the earth. And old turtle smiled. Look at that toothless smile on the turtle up there. He smiled because once and for all, the people listened and began to love one another. And you can read those words, and so did God. Isn't it nice to know that when God smiles, when he sees some of the things that we do, Old Turtle is your book for the day. I've got a little friend that I brought today. I have an Old Turtle myself. And here comes my friend Tina. I don't believe Tina's going to talk today, but Tina is a miraculous turtle and an old turtle. My son is now 40 years old, and he was, I think, 11 or 12 when he came from up from the creek with a uh, little turtle about the size of a quarter, and we kept that little turtle, put him in a tin pie pan, later on maybe a, a larger one like a Tupperware container until he graduated into the uh, uh, baby pool that he's in now. You can see on the outside of him that he's had a kind of a difficult winter. He's burrowed under the... Uh, under the uh, dirt, and he's gotten himself a little bit dirty. He's also got, look, part of his shell is coming off. He's shedding. Look, see? There it comes, little bits of it coming off. I'm not sure how many of these I can get off, but they're peeling off, ready for a new shell. He's done this every year for many years. It's fun to watch. See those, see those shells, the part of his shell coming off? He's out of hibernation, and he's ready to eat. He's going to have a vacation. I'm going to take Tina down to the turtles in Ms. Bright Science Lab and let him see if he can get along with them for a while. So this is a 27-year-old turtle at the very least. Remember the words of old turtle in the book. He was so wise that he saw how the, everybody was hurting one another. And then everybody began to listen, all because of the one who spoke, who never said very much, but when he did, people listen. This is my friend Tina. She's the old turtle too, telling you to love God and love one another. All right, kids, you have a great day and a great story. We'll see you again tomorrow for Pleasant Pathways from Poppy. Work hard today.